What's up, guys? So you can see I got some leaf damage, right? What's going on with all that? Now it's over here, it's over there. Well, it's thrips. Yeah, so, um, I've been using, um, using this stuff right here. Plant therapy, 10 mils of that. 10 mils of this, this stuff I got is like a sample. It's like called Pure Crop One. Uh, funnily enough, uh, this stuff literally has the words, uh, nanotechnology. Yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's a say I tell you what, if it works, it works. Um, right here, uh, I just got neem. It's like neem ninja. So I'm using 10 mils of each of these in one gallon. I know it's a little bit of a heavy dose, but I'm, I'm trying to get rid of them. And uh, it's been like five days, and you can see the new growth. New growth looks pretty good. I haven't really, haven't really been hitting it. So I must be at least keeping the population numbers like lower, right? Regardless, I might hit these ones. You know, I was thinking about hitting these ones with a little bit of spinocide. So, um, I mean, yeah, it might be the way to go because we aren't going to take any clones off of them for a minute. You know, they're still so short. Um, not really a whole lot there to gain, so... I might spray them with spinocide, just make them poisonous, and, um, you know, poisonous for like two months or so, two months, two, two to three months, and, um, you know, anything we take off of them will take at least three months to flower and finish, so, I think that's kind of a, a decent route to go, is, uh, put spinocide on these ones, right, and then, um, in this room, you'll see... I'm like halfway through defoliating, so you're gonna have to apologize for like half the table being there and the other half not. See what I mean? Oh, and one side of the room being orange and the other side being white. That's kind of a disappointment as well, I understand. Um, either way, you can, you can see, I mean, they, they have to have gotten in here, right? There's no way they couldn't get gotten in here. Like, there's, you know, I just walked through, you know. Like, I, I literally could have just brought some in here right now with me. So, it, it is what it is. I've been spraying both rooms as hard as I can, trying to get all of it clean. But, um, you know, that stuff's all pretty, you know, that stuff's pretty, pretty chill. It's not too harsh. So, you know, I'm fine spraying a little bit of rubbing alcohol, a little bit of neem, a little bit of oil, this and that, you know dry out the bug, all, all that, but I'm thinking I'm going to go with a different route for the flower room, since it's getting warmer outside, and, you know, everything's heating up, and, you know, I got, I got a nice healthy yard, you know, I got some vegetables and stuff back there, so I'm going to, I'm going to get ladybugs, let them go back there, right, and I'm going to segment a couple of them, and I'm going to let them go inside the flower room here. And then we're not going to spray anything in here. We're just going to let the ladybugs do their thing. Meanwhile, uh, that room, uh, the veg room over here, we have these plants, which are like almost a decoy. <laughs> it's like if you were to break into my house, right? You're a bug, you break into my room, and then I just have like food laid out for you on a plate that is poisoned. It's like cake. It's just like one slice of cake that has been poisoned. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing here. We poison these for like two months or whatever give them one good spray and then just don't spray them with any more spinocide after that maybe spray the topsoil really good too or you know the top cocoa or whatever spray that top bit really good as well so that we can you know get that stuff really in that in that dirt because that's probably where they're coming from I bet as they're digging their way up out or or something you know I don't even I don't even know all that much about thrips I know that stuff is supposed to kill them and I know that they jump they can't fly, they jump around, uh, they're real small, they look like a, like, they look like a little tan things, so, you know, that's really all I can tell you, they're little vampires, basically, that's what all these are, is they stick their, stick their, uh, their beak or whatever into there, and they suck, suck the fluid out, and, um, I mean, yeah, the, all of those things are supposed to be able to kill them on their own, so, if I <laughs> mix them up, I assume that that's going to help more, especially because the, the 
Purecroft one specifically, the guy who gave it to me was like, yeah, you can mix this up with neem or whatever else you're using, and it'll it'll work totally great. So that's what I've been doing. And I mean, I haven't, like I said, I haven't actually seen one on here. I just see the damage, you know? They're really small. Like, they're super small little bastards. So, like, I don't even necessarily see a whole lot of poop or anything from them, which are supposed to be little black dots. So, yeah, thrips. I put up tags as well. You can see all the tags in the top there just to see if I can catch anything. I haven't caught anything in any of them. So they're, they're real small, they're real elusive. Um, I've been spraying this stuff, and my plan is to poison these so that if they do come into this room, they try to go there first and then eat it and die before they ever get into this room. <laughs> so hopefully that'll all work out for me. Uh, wish me luck. If you guys have any better ideas as to how to get rid of thrips, you know you dealt with this on a bigger scale before. I mean, I'm, I'm super open to hearing your any suggestions. Um, I mean, I'll take them into consideration, you know what I mean? Like, it... <laughs> It's got to be reasonable enough, but um, in general, yeah, I'm, I'm open to hearing any ideas anyone's got about how I should go about uh, removing the thrips. But uh, I'm going to get back to defoliating here. I'll show you this, this side that's all leafy. Leafy side's always the best one. And, you know, I haven't flipped yet. I'll probably flip in like three days. I, I just wanted to get rid of the bugs before I flip. But, you know, I mean... Like I said, I'm going to flip in like three days. So if you guys just want to consider this like the the day of flip, um, you know, I'll update you guys when there's actually flower and stuff. Uh, I, I figure you don't just want to see leaves grow. It's, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, cool, bro. You, I can grow more leaves than you had yesterday. That's neat. So um, try to keep you posted on the cool stuff. And, yeah, you can see this side over here. Well, thanks for checking out the channel, guys. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, you have a good day.